What is up guys? My name is Mark Anderson. I am here for another hiking review. Today is a trail called the Wave Cave. All right, so you want to get off here on Peralta Road. Take a left. You can see a sign right there that says Peralta Trailhead. And then once you get past the school up here, it turns into a dirt road down this road for a couple of miles. This is where you park around the corner. And there's a few people here today. It is 78, partly cloudy in March, so it's literally perfect hiking weather. So we got a spot right here. It's in the parking lot. One thing to know right away is the wave cave is right there. I've seen a lot of people get lost over there and over there. And it's confusing because the trail branches in a couple places. So I'll show you where to go. So I'm gonna get my gear and I'm gonna show you the places, the steps you wanna take to get there. Make sure you don't take any wrong turns and make sure you can enjoy the view up there because it's awesome. All right, I'm just getting the pack situated. So a couple things, make sure you have a good snack and some water. I've been about two liters for this hike. Bring a hat. This backpack's about um, 35 liters, so it can hold a lot more. It's a lot more than you need for this. Anyway, about ready to roll. All right, so it is 2.05 p.m. And it'll probably take maybe an hour, a little under an hour to get there. So you're gonna start out from the parking lot. Just go straight up this trail and it gets a little narrow in spots, and like I said, I've seen so many people get lost here, so I wanna make sure that whoever watches this video doesn't experience the same thing. This lady walking behind me just went by, and she had a fucking welding mask. <laughs> There's these things called sunglasses that exist that you could, you could use, hey, but to each their own. If welding mask is your thing, I guess. All right, so I've been going about 10 minutes, and you get up to this point, trail starts to fork. You to go left. You wanna stay on this side. I don't know where that goes. So you take that left trail, and this is the part that most people get confused on. You get up to this fence area, so you can go left, you can go right. They all say trail. They are, they go to different places, but if you're going to Wave Cave, you want to go straight through this fence. And then from here, the trail's gonna get a little bit narrow. All right, not too far up from that fence. It's been a couple minutes. Anytime you see something like this on a trail, pretty obvious, but it means it's blocked off. It's the wrong way to go, even though that looks like a trail. Stay to the left, go around. Looks like a trail, blocked. You wanna to stay to the left, go down into this little wash. So, quick stop. I thought something flew out and bit me, but I must have had this stuck on my shoe. So there's a cactus in my leg. Give me a second, I'm gonna pull that out. Oh, I think it went my finger too. <sighs> oh, here's why. Just because we're on the trail. I seriously thought that was a snake bite. It was just all of a sudden, just like a clamp down. I can still feel it. Doesn't feel good, but we're maybe, let's see. I'm about 20 minutes into this trail and we're just starting to go up a little bit the rocks and saguaros. So I just started to climb a little bit up this mountain. You can see the parking lots over there. And I've been on trail about 30 minutes. You start to get a good view right about here. All right, so I'm almost there. I'm just stopping to take a break and shadow this huge saguaro.
Last piece of advice, when you get to the home stretch here, the wave cave is just right up above me, maybe just a couple more minutes. Um, you come through this rock formation right here where you're all shaded on this side. Stay to the right once you get out of there, because if you go to the trails over here, they're really slippery, not as defined. If you stay to the right side, it's more of a trail. Plus you got these guys here to guide your way. So you can see the wave cave, it's right there. And hopefully when I get up there, everybody will be gone. That way I can get you guys some better pictures and a video inside. So we'll see you up there in a second. So I'm in the back of the cave right now. You can see what it's all like. There's some big water. You can see the wall in places. Sometimes it's big over here. Anyway, this is the picture that everybody always gets here. Focus gets a little bit better on a sunny day but it's pretty cool because anything you put, as you can see where my pack is over there, it gets kind of silhouetted. It took like just under an hour today. Um, but standing on top of the wave right now. And yes, I've lived in Arizona too long and I get cold, so I have a hoodie on. Anyway, it's a pretty big cave and it's cooler in here and it's like all sandy on the bottom, so it's really cool. And then you have this awesome view as well. You know, if you can get up here on a weekday, you have a really high probability of being able to have this place to yourself, which is awesome. Definitely, definitely, if you're in Phoenix, come check out this hike. And if this one is crowded, parking lot's full, whatever, right down the street here, you stay on the same road, half a mile. Uh, you have Peralta Trail, which I'll also review. So like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. Comment, tell me what else you'd like to see me review. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.